Good afternoon and welcome to Folk and Acoustic Music. My name is Michael Stock here every Sunday afternoon from 2 to 5 on 91.3 WLRN. In the studio with me now is Joni Leeds. And hi, Joni. Hi, how are you? So, uh, you're living in New York. If you're writing your own music, there's such an outlet. There's, there's music clubs all over New York City. It's just so easy to create and perform. Is, is, was there a competition in the music scene? Uh, well, um, how, how would you compare that to the theater scene? Well, I mean, if you look in the Village Voice on any particular day, there's a billion bands playing every night at all these different venues. So I, I wouldn't say it's a competition, but there's definitely a lot going on. So it's hard to find your way, which is kind of why I got into the children's music. <laughs> oh, okay, so you're into children's music now. I do children's music now. I mean, I haven't abandoned the grown-up music, as I now call it, but I still do um, that from time to time. But the kids' music is totally where it's at right now. You, you, it, you, mean you, you pursued it uh, for uh, business reasons rather than personal reasons. Um, well, it, it's such a, it's a long story. I'll try to make it short, but I was uh, unemployed after working in a, a, a number of desk jobs that I completely <laughs> despised. And after a really long time of doing that and just wanting to do something else, someone said to me, you know, you really should work, you know, with kids and do music. And I had no idea how I was supposed to do that. But someone said, you know, you should do one of those play programs where it's like mommy and me. So I got into that, and then from there, people were like, you should do birthday parties. So I left that. I started doing my own birthday party business in New York, which I still do. And um, so I'm, every weekend I'm doing birthday parties for kids. And then I started writing music for kids, uh, trying them out at the birthday parties. I work at a bunch of different nursery schools teaching music. So it just kind of, I don't know, went crazy. <laughs> so when you say that's where it's at. Yeah. That's not really where it, that's where you're at. You you seem to have clicked with children's music. I love it. It's great. It's it's like playing for grown-ups, but the kids just they don't hold back. If they like something, they're going to jump up and down like crazy. If they don't like something, they're not going to move and they'll tell you cuz they don't have a filter. They'll just say like, "Oh, I don't like that." <laughs> and and how's that different from what the adults do? They just kind of what what, what do the adults do that you, that you don't like? Um, it's not that I don't like what the adults do. It's just that I think that children get so much more excited about music than adults do. I don't know. I, if there's just something about the way a kid will just, with full reckless abandon, just throw his hands or her hands up in the air and just go nuts. I mean, grownups will do that maybe from time to time, but kids, it's just this whole different thing. It's amazing. Joni Leeds is here in the studio. And well, what, what do you want to play? Do you want to do an adult song or a children's song? I feel like... Uh, I'm not going to jump up and down and throw my... <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no, I think I'll do a kid song, but I've heard that many adults also like it too, so I'm going to say it's it's for the family. It's for all ages. Okay. okay. So this is a song um, off of my CD called City Kid, and it's the title track. It goes like this. When you walk outside, not a tree inside, and you feel all the birds have had a fright, you better walk on down that numbered grid, cause you are a city kid. When you live in an apartment and ride the train, and your next door neighbor doesn't know your name, and your room's barely big enough to hold a crib, you are a city kid. Take a cab to the East Village for pastrami on rye at Katz's Deli. So when your diner and your drugstore are on your block and you take music classes where you roll and rock, you gotta sit right down and just admit that you are a city kid. Outside, not a tree inside, and you feel all the birds have had a fry. You better walk on down that numbered grid, cause you are a city kid. Oh, yeah, you are a city kid. It's true, you are a city kid. All right.
Hi, Joni Leeds in the WLRN studio. Uh, I guess that goes over well in New York City. With, to those. Very much so. <laughs> how about in the suburbs? How, how does it... I think uh, the suburb kids enjoy it, too. It's not just for city kids, obviously. <laughs> they can associate, you know, they can figure it out. <laughs> well, Joni Leeds, I'm, I'm again curious about your your experience in New York City. You, you went there as... As a musician, were you ever a full-time musician? Were you always trying to get other jobs? You had other jobs supporting you. I, I always had day jobs. Um, at one time, I worked at the Bitter End actually bartending. Oh, and really? So I, I basically lived there for the first two years of my existence in New York City. I was bartending during the day and then helping the, the booker book uh, gigs during during the day, bartending at night. I mean, and, is, that, uh, is that still a folk music club or is it all types of music? It's it's folk and rock. They they pretty much do anything, I think. And uh, So you must have come popular. across some great stuff in those two years that oh, you were... Yeah. Every Monday and Friday night, I bartend and I heard everything there is to hear. It was an amazing place to work. I loved it. Well, I don't know. I guess I guess that's fun being at the bitter end. Uh, it was exciting, you know. I'm just like fresh out of college. I didn't know what I really wanted to do with my life besides music, and this just to have music around me all the time was just really the best possible job. And then, did you get end up playing there? I played there probably monthly for a few years. Oh, right, right, with your band. Uh, I had a band. Um, as a singer-songwriter, you, you you can either have a band or have people that play with you from time to time. So I never had, like, my band, but I had musician friends that would play with me. I have this image, again, like Bob Dylan in the 60s and Greenwich Village and, and all the clubs that you were you, you're cavorting around now. Mm-hmm. Is there any feeling of community there like, like that at all? I think there is. There's definitely, um, I would say, some singer-songwriters that kind of created a network for themselves. Um, But I actually have a bigger network, I think, with the kids' music. It's just this really tight-knit community. We have our own Facebook. It's very bizarre. Is that right? Yeah. (laughs) So you get more satisfaction out of singing for the kids and for the adults. I do. I never really thought I would, but I kind of do. Do you sing all original music? I sing some original, well, mostly original, and a couple of covers from time to time. Do you? Well, well what's the what's another cover? What's a cover that goes over great? They love "Twist and Shout" by the Beatles. They <laughs> love it. I don't know. I don't know That's why. That's not a children's song. No, the you, the Beatles are huge with the kids. Oh, is that right? Oh my gosh! That's yeah. probably with their parents. It's huge with their parents, and then they're no. But the kids love Beatles. I don't know what it is. It's just it's appealing for all ages. You know, the Yellow Submarine that song. They're obsessed with it. They just can't get enough of the Beatles. So you have to learn all the Beatles songs now. I, I learned some. <laughs> <laughs> Joni Leeds is here. And you and you have a CD called City Kids. I do. City and, Kid. Uh, City Kid. Mm-hmm. And uh, it won some sort of award? Is that? You... It just won a Parents' Choice Award. Which really? Which is kind of exciting. That's yeah. a big deal, right? It's a pretty big deal. What, what does that mean, a Parents' Choice Award? Um, well, it's it's this company that, that listens to tons and tons and tons of CDs, and they select the best of the best, and they decide if it's worthy of parents buying the music. So I uh, I guess I'm worthy. <laughs> so, so who distributes your CD? Um, I do it by myself, but I use CD Baby, and they do digital distribution. Oh, but if, if you get a, 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 par- a Parental Choice Award... Mm-hmm. It seems to me that somebody would want to pick up your CD and get it out there. Um, or do, are you open to that? Or have you tried? I'm trying, actually. <laughs> okay. I'm looking. I'm looking very hard for you know a manager. Um, it's it's definitely something that's on my radar. I'm looking. Okay. Well, how about another tune? 